Hey there, Psych2Goers, and welcome back to another video. Have you ever heard of melancholic depression? According to the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, or the DSM, someone who experiences the distinct symptoms of melancholia is known as having a melancholic major depressive disorder. It's a subtype of depression rather than a separate diagnosis. There are several unique characteristics of melancholic MDD that set it apart from other forms of depression. So here are six signs you may have melancholic MDD. Oh, but before we begin, we'd like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have melancholic depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Okay, on to the video. Number one, loss of pleasure. Have you lost your desire to socialize or do the things that you would normally find joy in? In melancholic MDD, the loss of pleasure is known as anhedonia, which can inhibit the functioning of your reward system. Instead of being motivated to complete tasks to receive a reward, like to get an A or to get in shape, you may suddenly find even the smallest of tasks difficult to achieve. Two, psychomotor changes. The slowness of movement is a common feature in melancholic MDD. One study even compared it to Parkinson's and found that complex movement was a challenge in both disorders. Melancholic MDD can also represent negative symptoms similar to schizophrenia. These are a group of symptoms marked by the absence of normal levels of activity, which can include loss of facial expression, psychomotor impairment, and attentional disturbances. It can make everyday tasks like doing chores and communicating with others very difficult. Three, impaired cognitive function. Do you have trouble concentrating, making decisions, and remembering things? A study found that those diagnosed with melancholic MDD performed significantly worse on tasks that tested problem-solving skills, memory, and processing speed than those with non-melancholic MDD. While impaired cognitive function can still be present in non-melancholic MDD, this research shows that there are clear differences between the two. Four, depressed mood characterized by despair and emptiness. Do you find that your interests and passions no longer give you purpose or meaning? Melancholic MDD is characterized by profound feelings of despondency, despair, and emptiness. These emotions of melancholia are thought to be the inspiration for many inspiring artists, musicians, and writers across history. But while melancholy and its effects may have inspired works of beauty, the cost has often been immense mental suffering. Five, feelings of hopelessness or guilt. Do you experience episodes of hopelessness and guilt out of the blue? Your feelings of hopelessness or guilt are not triggered by stressful or tragic events as social and psychological factors rarely contribute to this form of depression. Instead, it's linked to genetics. This is why people with this subtype of depression often have family histories with mood disorders or suicides. And because of this, medication is usually the treatment option since psychotherapy, counseling, or other psychological interventions is unlikely to work. Number six, waking up early in the morning. Do your symptoms tend to get worse in the morning? It's common for people with this disorder to experience a disrupted sleep-wake cycle and to wake up in the early hours of the day. While mornings may be especially difficult, there is often a pattern known as diurnal variation, where mood and energy levels improve as the day goes on. This is unique to melancholic MDD compared to milder forms of depression where symptoms tend to worsen at night. So have you experienced any of these symptoms or know someone who has? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe to Psych2Go for more videos. And the references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. As always, thanks for watching.